for you guys to go ahead and try. So in the uh, in this next example, again, we want to identify our two functions. f of x is, and again, whenever you guys see a radical, let's just look at this as tan to the 4x raised to the 1 half. So I can say f of x is going to be x to the 1 half. My inside function, g of x, is going to be tan of the 4x. Inverse tangent is going to be secant, or derivative tangent is going to be secant squared. So now let's just go ahead and find the derivative of each of these separately. So 1 half um, times x to the negative 1 half. Remember, that's going to go back in the denominator. And g prime of x, again, I'm going to have to use the chain rule. If it's OK, I'm just going to do chain rule on its own. So the, chain, uh, the derivative, so you can say my outside function is tangent of x. And my inside function is 4x. So again, using the chain rule uh, quickly here, I'm going to get the derivative of my outside function is secant squared of x. Uh, sorry, squared of my function, which is 4x, and then times 4. So to find y prime, x to the negative 1 half in reality is the same thing as 2 times uh, my function, which is tangent of 4x raised to the 1 half, or you could use the square root, times uh, my g prime of x, which is secant squared times 4x times 4. And then let's write this prettier, uh, 4 secant squared of 4x all over 2, I'll use the square root, tangent of 4x. Yes. Got it? Yep. 